Hey, hey, hey. Wow, look at these big condos. Beautiful, right? Beautiful homes. Million dollar condos going up. Beautiful. Got a million dollars, you get a condo, right? One bedroom, two bedrooms. Ooh, they're going all the way to the sky. We must be doing good in America, right? People are living large, right? Well, look across the street. What's that? That's the projects. This is the, this is the rich people going up in brand new, brand new places to live. But you see across the street, that's the projects. Now what's a project? A lot of people don't know what the projects are in New York City. It's New York City housing. It's NYCHA. New York City Housing Authority, right? It's all the poor people. Section 8. Right? Great statistic, by the way. Just to, I'm, I, Again, this, this one's going to be called uh, Poverty is Big Business, right? But I wanted to mention that uh, Sarkozy, the former uh, prime minister or president or whatever he is of France, was indicted on money laundering charges for funneling taking money and funnel, funneling weapons to instigate wars, right? Now, that happened in 2010, 2011, right? Hillary Clinton's name's all over it. They had all, they had, she had her, her hands in everything. Kudos to the French for indicting, possibly prosecuting Sarkozy. It's a good, it's a good move. Americans wake up, okay? Your country's doing the same thing. We already know who it was. So, another note. So, I, I just wanted to point out, right? So, you see all the, you see all the big condos, right? And across the street, we're going to get to the, uh, we're going to walk across to the ghetto and see the housing. I want to put on the record that 45 million Americans, right? Poverty is big business. Poverty is big business. Right? 45 million Americans receive food stamps. Right? That's the SNAP program. Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. You heard of that? Right? That's one in seven people in our country are receiving, don't have enough money to buy food. Condos are going up, but there's not enough money to buy food. Corporations are doing well. This unemployment's at 1%, right? 5%, whatever the fucking lie number is. Unemployment in America is probably around 25%. Maybe one in four people don't have a job. Right? That's about the that's a, that's the proper statistic, right? But the fake number is five. Right? Why corporate media controls this. So again, this might be a little sloppy. What are the numbers? So in New York City, okay. So if you have one in seven people on food stamps across the country. That number is a little higher in, in cities. For example, in New York, 1.7 million of the 8 million people are on food stamps. So that's about one in five. So one in five people we pass don't have enough money to feed themselves, right? So they have to reach out and get food stamps. And a lot of those people live in, in public housing and they have to they have to go to the city and get a you know place to stay. What else? So you have 45 million people on food stamps, 3 million people in the military. That's one in 100. I read those numbers yesterday. 2 million people in jails. Right? What the hell's going on, right? And a startling fact. I, I'm putting my money where my mouth is. I said in the you know, previous video, why doesn't someone talk about income and wealth inequality in the country? Well, maybe it's, maybe it is our opportunity. Rather than talking about, you know, the hookers that uh, Trump screwed in a fake Russian narrative that has nothing to do with anything that pertains to regular people, that only keeps them in poverty, right? Instead of talking about that, talk about the actual facts. Look at that condo. Look, look at that. That's not a condo. That's a project. That's a New York City project. The project was elevated in the 70s to, to see if you can get low-income people living with middle class when we had one. 
and see if you can integ integrate those people into society in a normal way, in a in a in a in a peaceful way, right? Other statistics from the Bernie Sanders rally, right? Sixty percent of all Americans have less than four hundred dollars to their name. Sixty percent. That's six out of ten people don't have four hundred dollars to their name. It's fucking sick. Right? Alright, so this is a project, right? NYCHA. NYCHA, right? They're called different things in different places. Ooh, I'm in the projects. Dangerous, right? No, it's just poor people. They live here. Big apartment building, right? Poverty draft. Poverty. It's big business. How are you going to start a war? How are you going to fight a war, right, without the poverty draft? Who's going to go fight the war? Who's going to go fight the war? Rich, rich people? They're going to go fight the war? They're going to keep the money machine going? They're going to, they're going to keep the, the, the arms industry in, in business? Rich people? No. They send the, they, they keep, keep the poverty, keep the poverty level high. Keep, you know, siphon out all real opportunity in the world. Make college tuition so high and, 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 and that you, you can't attain it unless you you join the military, right? Join the military. That's a good idea. Do they still have that, the, 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 the ROTC? We'll send you to college. If you can get out of Iraq alive, we'll go to college, right? Otherwise, shut the hell up. Hitler Youth, right? That was what I saw when I watched. You know, it, I, I said the other day that... Uh, that um, that that uh, ch kids march, march for our lives thing about guns, trying to take away the Second Amendment, right? I said that it was it was suspiciously funded in some way. How they put it together so quickly, it's not no surprise. It was the Democratic National Committee that did it. They put it together, and now they're going to turn it into a voter a voter drive, right? You have to capture the kids, right? Turn the turn the schools into prisons, fa false flags in the in the in the schools. Make people afraid of of the boogeyman. It's Trump. It's the, the Republicans. It's the it's it's people. It's leftists. It's rightists. It's 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 conspiracy theorists. It's anybody but the real fact, which is you've got to you've got to take those kids and you got to cultivate them. This is this is the Nazi Nazi book one hundred and one, right? You got to capture the kids, right? right. Grotesque levels of income inequality. That's what I wanted to talk about. Poverty is the problem. It's not, it's, it, it's not, it's, there's no Russia story. It's not, those all fake stories that they're still running in mainstream media, state-run media. So I think that was a rant today, but uh, I really mean it. I'm standing outside of the projects, right? Uh, it's all poor people. They take. They they only. They can only. Some people are living in there with no for no rent. Some people are living in there for the working poor that actually work, and then they take a piece of that rent. The city, they pay the rent, right? But um, but everybody in this building receives food stamps, right? They all do. This is a big problem in the country. Right? This is the problem, right? Corporations, you know, they're making so much money, right? They're all getting paid three hundred million dollars, four hundred million, twenty-eight million dollars a year. They got more money than they can, you know, billionaires popping up everywhere, right? That's only the one percent of the population. What about the rest of us? Everybody's living in object poverty. I thought that. I thought you know, another fact, right? In the old days, you used to see. CNN and MSNBC talk about market news, Fox News. You still always see the market, the you know stock market. That's been in the last couple of years. They put that to the, to the they push that into the back. You notice that they don't show market. They show the indexes, the Dow, and the Nasdaq. Oh, Nasdaq's up, Dow's up. Look, see, it's doing really good. But the fact is, the answers to the problem, the stock market holds the answer. It always has, right? You can see who's profiting 
if people knew who was profiting from the poverty, then they would, they would, it would occur to them that holy shit, we're being played, right? The poverty is necessary to keep the poverty draft, the military, and you know, going, right? The poverty is necessary to keep the prison industrial complex alive, right? Four hundred, uh, two hundred fifty billion dollar a year business, you know, and the and the, the defense contracting business is in the trillions. It's it's unknown. There's so much money pumped into it that no one even knows what the number is. It's half of all discretional spending. It's half of, you know, it's a lot, a lot of money. It's a lot of money that goes into military. But how are you going to make that military happen unless you got a force? Unless you got a, 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 a poverty draft? Because if you try to do a draft again in this country, people say, go fuck yourself, right? So but just keep them poor, you know? Keep them poor. Oh, you want an education? No problem. Join the army. We'll show you how to shoot a gun. We'll show you how to kill people. We'll make you a killer. And then... And if you can get out of Iraq alive or Afghanistan or wherever else we put you, then you you know you can become a uh, college student and get a college education. But uh, we don't want you to learn politics or 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 English or any of those things. We want you we want you to be uh, you know teach you a trade, right? Go to a you know a trade like like computer or something. <laughs> we don't want you to critically think, right? We want you to be a fucking slave. So. My name is Marcus Conti. I'm an investigative journalist, a YouTube journalist, sole plaintiff in Conti vs. DSNY. Kindly subscribe to my station. Make a donation if you can. This is how we stay alive. This is how we stay in business. All right. Real news. Peace out.